I'm, my name is Calvin Baum. Um, I work with the uh, restoration of uh, old photograph, old historical photographs of the Middle East from um, archival negatives. And I'd um, like to show the exhibition that I've prepared here for Zara Gallery at Fire Saman Hotel. Um, I've been working on this uh, for six or seven years, and uh, most of the subject matter that I've covered has been uh, concerned with Jordan, Palestine, Iraq, Syria, and Sinai Desert in Egypt, where I lived for 10 years before. <laughs> So here you can see downtown Amman, and um, also in this big panoramic view of Amman over here, it's a very similar shot. This is taken a little from a little bit lower down the hill. Um, and the, the Roman theater area, which there was almost nothing in that time, uh, this was the riverbed of the river, which was um, seasonal. So in the summer, the water would be, would be empty, and then in the winter, it would be dry. Here you can see that this very busy area of the downtown now, the Nymphium, it's, uh, was, um, it was a, a riverbed. There was no road there before. So these are very interesting photographs. And this panorama of Amman is compiled digitally from four negatives, uh, which are connected together. Now, the original photographers never would have been able to see these, uh, this, this view because they didn't fit, but uh, they had very good cameras. They had very good um, large plate negatives as well but they didn't have the technology uh, which we have now to be able to bring the pictures up to maximum potential. And as well, the, a lot of damages uh, with traveling around the Middle East and going back. So this is what I can do digitally, and I'm trying to aim for what I feel that the original photographers would have liked to have, the results they would have liked to have achieved if they had the technology we have today. These are some photographs showing the Arab Legion and the original, I guess, the original Jordanian army um, they had, uh, I, I, I think I lived a long time with camels in Egypt and you see in Egypt that camels are very stubborn animals. They mostly just think about food and women camels. And yet the Jordanians had managed to train them. Uh, as you can see in this photograph, it's particularly special because they'd actually got the camels lying in formation. And some of the photos show that they were running uh, towards them and hiding behind them, firing guns and things like that. Now I know. Camels, they really not, uh, that, that they, they don't like, <laughs> they don't like to do what they're told. So I think that in one way, the Jordan had probably the best, in best camel training in history, uh, which you can see in this time. I hope that people will appreciate uh, to see the gallery. Um, I've tried to show a representation of Jordan and Palestine from uh, 100 years ago and uh, try to, uh, to, to, to cover as broad a content as possible to give an overview of what life was like at that time. And I hope that it'll make people consider a little bit uh, the sustainability of life during that period compared to today with all of the environmental and, and, and social problems that we have and that maybe we can learn something from the ways that people used to live before in the region. Mm -hmm.